we're starting to get into the domain specific stuff. But if this were a services model, I check all of the systems used. So in this case, there are no systems in this model, but I check a list of all their systems. And again, starting with simple things like how are they named? Can I easily identify the types of systems? You know, are they uh, water, air? Then seeing what's in those systems and whether there are any logical subsystems and whether those things are connected correctly in those systems. So we're starting to get into discipline specific things. Maybe it's a little bit too much. Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, that, that covers kind of the basics, the, the cross-disciplinary things that we should be looking for whenever we open up our models. So it's critical to also choose a good IFC viewer that tells you exactly what data is in your file and doesn't hide things or generate things. Like many IC viewers, they, they generate dimension information. So you think you have information there when you actually don't. Or they might hide things like the fact that things are inherited. And so you, you might not realize that properties are inherited a certain way. Or they might or the, you, they might not show it at all. Like you might not even see the, the list of materials or, or all, not just the occurrences, but more importantly, types. So it's important to be very careful about how you start viewing and auditing your BIM data and look at it past the surface level of, yeah, that looks like a building to all the data that's inside. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, Dion, what I can say, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate you taking the time to take me through all this. And I really, really hope that this is going to be helpful for anyone else, not only me. Because me personally, I learned a lot from this and I will need to go and rewatch these videos or yeah, episodes many times and it will definitely help me a lot. So thank you, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you taking the time. And, and likewise, thank you, Petra, for giving me the opportunity to uh, talk about these issues that are perhaps not talked about enough in our industry. No, unfortunately, you know, from um, I can tell you from, from my perspective as a BIM manager, I get this is not a priority. There is always something more important, you know, and it's a challenge. It's a challenge, but yeah, I do not plan to give up anytime soon. So I just need to find the right way to approach this and to succeed with this mission as you are succeeding to your work because you are doing an amazing job there implementing this new stuff. But it requires a lot of patience, I guess, a lot of persistence to not give up, right? Absolutely. Our industry is kind of just beginning this journey, still learning about this. Yeah, so, that's true. It's but a long it's, way to go. Yeah, at the same time, it's very exciting to be part of this group that is trying to fight Goliath and to try to implement better ways of working. It's a real honor to be here and there, surrounded with these beautiful people using their own time for this mission. Happy days. <laughs>